Hey guys, Eric here with a quick note. I uh, just wanted to go over a quick thing that I do in my training that you can use and implement today to make some more pain-free progress and auto-regulate your training based on how you're feeling on any given day. So uh, if we flash back to my, my last training cycle, which was about 12 weeks long, ended uh, about two weeks ago, um, everything was great, man. I went, I went heavy, I went explosive, and I made some excellent gains in um, exercises like the front squat and the push jerk, hit some PRs, which is always awesome. And, um, and anyway, yeah, so hit some really uh, heavy, intensive stuff. And then it took about a week down. Uh, body was starting to feel beat up towards the end, which is kind of what you expect when you're pushing the limit. So I had uh, about six days off. Um, during that time I traveled, was in, uh, was in Florida. And before that, I hit some, um, some chiropractic work, some active release technique, and some cryotherapy just to knock out a couple of aches and pains that, that go in here and there. Um, but, so I was back in the gym the last couple of days and things were going well. Until today, I felt a little bit stale again. So, you know, when you hit a really heavy training cycle, you can have some neurological fatigue that tends to build in, especially if you're going heavy and training explosively. Um, and then, you know, being a trainer in January, um, things are pretty insane in the gym. And then online business is going well, which also means it's also fairly crazy at the moment. So just a lot of hats or uh, yeah, hats in one basket, so to speak. Um, so a big takeaway you can have is when your training is both heavy and explosive, especially if you have a lot of high stress things going on, um, there's going to be a point where you're going to want to dial back and make sure you periodize your, period, periodize your training. Jeez, I can't even say that word today. Um, so back to what I did today in the gym. Today I had a um, power cleans as well as a push jerk and then I hit some volume after that. Uh, but I was going through the power cleans and the push jerk and I wasn't necessarily feeling as sharp as I would like to. Um, I still had a little bit of pain, a little um, issue in my back going on. Um, so I wasn't feeling full on really going for, for the heavy numbers that I had prescribed for earlier in the day. Um, but a method I used for auto regulation is called the two up, two down method. So with the two up, two down method, what you do is um, more or less you program in two reps higher or two reps lower than what you had originally planned for the day. And you still focus on maximizing technique and you know rep speed and all those different qualities that we're looking for directly within the workout as it pertains to your goals. So for me, because I was working on some heavy and explosive work, I decided, well, let's drop off two reps um, from a five rep set, which is quite a bit of volume for me. So I went, uh, went five by three, focused on triples, took a little bit more rest. And what this allowed me to do is really focus on bar speed and optimize technique to make sure all these things are sharp and on point. Because at any given time, you're either improving a movement pattern or you're taking a step back. And when you get those days in the gym where, you know, you don't necessarily feel as sharp as you need to be, that's, those are the times when you're putting your body at risk. Um, so like I said, using the two up, two down method, allow yourself flexibility in either side of your reps. So hell, if you're feeling really good um, and you have a three by eight rep scheme on a row, go three by 10. Um, things aren't going quite as well, go three by eight. And you can apply this fairly universally across your reps. Um, obviously, you're gonna have to be a little bit more strict the higher performance that you're going for and if you're a competitive athlete. But you know, the end of the day, endlessly grinding your reps and hitting your reps because your piece of paper says you need to hit that many reps so you're not going to have a successful day is, you know, is bullshit. It's going to come back to bite your ass later on in your training. Um, it's going to come to the pain of a stubborn plateau or joint pain and chronic injury. So be careful and kind of choose your battles. So if I could had to give you really three big takeaways from this video, first, you need to know how to train hard first before you really jump into auto regulation. But once you do, make tweaks based on how you're feeling given that day and how high street, uh, and how high your stress has been recently. Um, you know you can't use fatigue as a cop out, but know when your when your performance starts to go. Um, you know, secondly, hardcore does not win you points. You know, it might be kind of fun, but train smart and prevent overuse injuries to protect yourself against fatigue. And then most of all, you know, when you're feeling good on a particular day, dial it up and go for it. But if you're not, you know, take a step back, focus primarily on your execution of each rep and, uh, and make sure you're getting highest quality. So auto regulation, kind of in a nutshell there. Uh, guys, please drop me a couple questions below and we will chat about it a little bit further and I'll help you out with any, any questions that you have. Thanks. Bye.